Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to those joining us for the first time. My name is Alicia. Today we're celebrating the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In the Gospel today, Jesus did an amazing thing. He walked on water and allowed Peter to as well. This is a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. After Jesus had given the bread to the crowd and everyone had eaten all they wanted, Jesus told the disciples to sail the boat to the other side of the lake. Then he went up into the mountains to pray, and he stayed there alone until late into the night. By this time, the disciples were already out in the middle of the lake, and their boat was being tossed about by a strong wind. During the night, Jesus came walking across the water towards the boat. But when the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified and screamed, It's a ghost! Jesus said, Don't be afraid. It is I. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, if it is really you, tell me to walk on water across to you. Jesus said, Come on, Peter. So Peter got out of the boat and started walking towards Jesus. But while he was walking on the water, he saw the waves and the wind, and he became so frightened that he started sinking into the water. And he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus reached out, caught hold of Peter's hand, and said, Peter, you have so little faith. Why didn't you believe? When Peter and Jesus got into the boat, the wind stopped. The other disciples said to Jesus, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Have you ever tried to do something really difficult? What happened? It can be really hard to believe that we can do something difficult. Just like Peter, we might get scared, but God is there to help us to do the things we think are impossible. Okay, so we won't be able to walk on water like Jesus, but we can do other things that might scare us a little or feel impossible to begin with. Maybe something like learning how to ride a bike or learning to swim or even standing up to a bully in the schoolyard. Have you ever felt really frightened or worried? It's okay to feel that way sometimes. What did you do? What helped you to feel better? There are many times in life that we may feel afraid. Maybe you are going to a new school, or maybe you're moving to a new place where you're not going to know anybody, or maybe someone in your family is sick. But we don't have to worry alone. We can always tell a grown up, like a parent, a teacher, an older brother or sister, a grandparent, when we're worried or afraid. And we can also tell Jesus. He is always there and ready to help you through all the difficult times in your life. Just like we can reach out to other people when we're having a hard time, we also need to be there for others. Jesus asks us to care for one another and to help each other. We need to help those who are poor, sick, scared, or lonely, anyone who's finding things difficult, no matter who they are or where they come from. This week, let's try to remember Jesus' words to his disciples. Do not be afraid. Jesus is always there to help us when we are having a hard time. This week, what will you do to reach out a helping hand to others? Hope you all have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.